Greetings and welcome back to NBA Lens. Today we are back again for more NBA news and information but before we begin, remember to ring the bell and hit the subscribe button so that you may receive updates on our most recent content. The Los Angeles Lakers won a big game against the Minnesota Timberwolves on Sunday night, with LeBron James returning to the lineup and Anthony Davis playing despite a shoulder injury from Friday. The absence of important Timberwolves players such as Carl Anthony Towns, Rudy Gobert, and Kyle Anderson provided the Lakers with an excellent opportunity to secure a much-needed victory, which they did with a final score of 120-109. to both teams struggled defensively early in the game, allowing players on both sides to score easily. Rui Hakimura scored seven early baskets for the Lakers, giving them a 13-11 edge. Hakimura continued to make an impression with a corner three-pointer, while Anthony Davis pushed himself inside. Anthony Edwards attempted to score over Davis but was unsuccessful, earning a technical foul for challenging the no-call. Despite the Lakers' mistakes, Anthony Davis demonstrated his power on both ends of the floor, allowing LA finish the first quarter with a 32-28 edge. The Timberwolves started the second quarter well from beyond the arc, with Naz Reed and Mike Conley each hitting on three-pointers to tie the game. The Lakers countered with their own three-pointers, including two straight shots from Austin Reeves and another from Hakimura. Despite Naz Reed's 21 first-half points, the Lakers led Minnesota by 69-68 at halftime. For the first time in the third quarter, LeBron James led the Lakers to double digits with 11 points in the first three minutes of play. Nevertheless, Nickel Alexander Walker's back-to-back three-pointers helped the Timberwolves rally, forcing the Lakers to call a timeout. Anthony Edwards scored three baskets, including a three-pointer, to give Minnesota the lead as they kept up their pace. The Timberwolves led 92-91 at the end of the third quarter after Luka Garza's buzzer beater gave the Lakers a brief lead again through offensive rebounds. LeBron James led the Lakers to an 11-2 run to start the fourth quarter, forcing the Timberwolves to call a timeout. After that, the Lakers kept up their dominance, leaving Minnesota unable to stop Anthony Davis on either end of the court. Austin Reeves increased the Lakers' advantage to 112-96 with another three-pointer. The Lakers won easily because the Timberwolves, who were lacking in players, were unable to stage a comeback. Scoring 27 points, 25 rebounds, 5 assists, 7 thefts, and 3 blocks at the game's conclusion, Anthony Davis became the first player in NBA history to accomplish such a feat. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any thoughts, please comment down below. Share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more NBA news content. Also, hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for joining me today on NBA Lens. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay ballin'.